Lovely chocolate from the 99 pence store. Three for two as well. Chocolate dessert. This one's lovely. This um cherry cream. It's delicious. It's really nice. I like this chocolate. And my nails. I've gone over the um. I've gone over the fruit dots with the red reaction by Maybelline colour show. Some lovely nail polishes I got from the body shop. Um, buy two for three. Some really nice colours here. Um, some lovely yellows. Really nice. I've got two, these new new lip balms for me. I think they're like the EOS, but they're um square. So, I'm going to try these later. I expect they're colourless, but I saw them in Superdrug. I saw them the other, other week, but I only got some today. Just wanted to quickly show these books that I've got from that I got from the 99 pence store the other week. Um, they've, uh, <laughs> or was it Poundland? It could have been Poundland or 99 pence store, both owned by the same people anyway, but you press and... <laughs> very out of tune, admittedly, but <laughs> very out of tune, but quite, quite cute. This is a different, different tune, but um, let's give it a go. Let me just turn this radio off. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Very out of tune, but <laughs> I thought um, someone. Very out of tune, but I thought someone might um, be interested to uh, hear what that sounded like. So. Bye. Can you see me? Can you see me? Bye. Bye. <laughs> I hope we're recording. Stop saying the same thing as every time. Bit of a haul from Tesco today. Not tried these before. A lot of rustling. She's balls. I got some more. Hang on a moment. Oh, by the way, if you couldn't see that, this is goat's hand cooked goat's cheese, goat's cheese and sticky chili jam crisps. Goat's cheese and chili sticky jam. Chili sticky. Oh, well, chili. Oh, forget it. Oh, these. Uh, 
coconut, my coconut island. I'm going to a faraway place, she said, just for a while. Anyhow, this um smells nice. Mmm, it smells lovely. Yeah, it smells really nice. And so does this one. I only found it because someone put it back in the wrong place. And um, I always have to try and put things back in the right place when I... Well, that smells... Yeah, that's lovely. Especially when it's like thing food. Anyhow, this one smells nice. I have got a bit of a grievance, though. I'm a bit annoyed. I w w looked all round Tesco in the canned fish, tin fish compart department, looking for... Um, is that showing up? Looking for, um, you know, mackerel in mackerel in olive oil and they've got it in I mean I know co-op don't do it anymore but they used to do like a no drain one but um, I couldn't find anything I can't it's very difficult in shops now to find any mackerel in olive oil in tins they've got it in spring water or brine ugh, or um, sunflower oil but try to get it in olive oil it's almost impossible the only place you can still buy it in olive oil is from Waitrose and uh, if, so you haven't got, if you want it in olive oil and you haven't got a Waitrose near you then you're stuck uh, so anyhow just the, the, I realise there's whole items which I need all to be put together in one haul like a collective haul so that's what I will be trying to do um, so, yeah, continuation of the, the continue, to be continued. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe this. What is wrong with me? Oh, oh, what does what does that say? Lovable, moody but lovable. Moody. Oh, which side is which? I'm um, looking. You know, I swear there's something wrong with me. Moody, but love. See, I'm going the opposite. It's this side, isn't, isn't it? It's actually this side where the beginning of that word is. Mood. Oh. I just, I don't even know what things say on what I'm wearing. But, but I just wanted to point it out. Oh, um, I don't know what order this is going to go in. But when I'm talking about, I'm annoyed because I can't find mackerel in olive oil. I'm not, I mean tuna in olive oil. I know, oh. Tuna steak in olive oil. You can't... What is wrong with me? Tuna steak. I mean, Waitrose is the only place I can still buy tuna steak in olive oil. Can you see that says in olive oil? Essential Waitrose in olive oil. In olive oil. And I was talking about mackerel and I meant tuna. Tuna steak in olive oil. I looked all around Tesco, a big Tesco, and nowhere did they have tuna in olive oil. They got it in brine, ugh, yuck, or they've got it in spring water, both of which I, I've tried and I don't like. Or it's in sunflower oil. And sunflower oil is not meant to be good for psoriasis, apparently. And um, but can you get it in olive oil? No. And um. And then I went, and, and Costa, they've always got Costa um, co coffee shops in Tesco's now, and um, rather than the Tesco own cafe that used to be nice, and used to be able to get nice meals there. And to be honest, and apologies in advance, you know, I'm sorry to anyone who thinks Costa's wonderful and can't bear to hear it, you know, as if, I hope no one's going to be offended if I say I don't like it, but I honestly, I won't say I don't like it, but... I honestly can't see the appeal of Costa. Um, I know this is I'm meant to be a whole video, I don't know what I'm talking about this, but I, honestly I can't see the appeal of Costa. I, I think their coffee's not very nice, it's usually lukewarm. I had a, one of those gingerbread lattes with cream on top. Some of the staff are miserable and bad-tempered and surly and not at all nice. You try and make conversation with them and, you know, they... Uh, they're just miserable. So there's some girl that served me. Oh, she was miserable. And um, 
I was, I've been served by her before and she seems to have a bit of an attitude and it, it makes it makes you feel frightened to speak and you know I'm trying to make conversation trying to be friendly and there's nothing there's nothing there's and then one of her friends turns up and everything you know she's all chummy with her but and I thought I hope it's not just me I hope she's like that to all the customers I shall I shall think it's, it's me um anyhow yeah, it's, um, it's, it's like the Costas, they seem to take over everywhere, and um, I like the, the Thornton's cafes, the Thornton's cafes are lovely, and you get a lovely chocolate with um, your coffee, and, and usually the staff I find are very, very nice in um, any Thornton's cafe, and, uh, and the Starbucks, I like the Starbucks as well, but no, I'm not keen on Costa, I, th I just th find them mediocre. And so I honestly can't see the appeal. I realise that the vast, overwhelming majority of people probably love Costa and think they're wonderful for some reason. But, um, yeah, I'm just not keen on um, Costa. I like Starbucks. I think their coffee's good. And um, But uh, uh, Thornton's I, I like. Um, I think they're my favourites. And I know there's not many of them. But if you're lucky enough to find a Thornton's coffee shop in your town anyway yeah oh hang on so um yeah so i'm always saying the wrong thing and what i meant to say was <sighs> tuna tuna steak in olive oil is what i meant to say not mackerel and um because, you know, every, no one's the same, Everyone's everybody's different, so, you know, we're not all the same. So, um, yeah, but, but no, um, having this coffee in Costa, and it was lukewarm, and, like I was saying, lukewarm, and the girl who served me was surly and unfriendly, and, um, oh, and I, I just don't understand the appeal of Costa, I just just find them completely mediocre I say, you know I prefer Starbucks any day to Costa and um because the staff are usually very nice in Starbucks and their coffee I think is nice but Thornton's are my favorite so if you're lucky enough to have a Thornton's coffee shop near you but well, I hope that you find the staff as nice and as friendly and as lovely as the staff in the one you get a lovely chocolate as well so yay let's hear it for Thornton's <laughs> Anyway, I've rambled on long enough about things that probably hardly anyone's interested in. Bye for now. Well, it's no good saying bye, because I suspect everyone's switching off already, but there's bound to be more added on to this, so... hi -ho. This is lovely chocolate. I know I've already shown this once, but um, I'll show it with the webcam as well. You see it? It really is nice. I like cream chocolate. Right, the cut. This is um called mint cream. I doubt you'll be able to see that. It's called mint cream. Oh, it's not going to show up the, the name. This one's called O oh, Petal. That pretty pink. I'll do the swatches later when I'm home. This one. Oh, what's this one called? This one's called a sunny affair. That lovely yellow, a sunny affair, a sunny affair. I'm hoping that's picking up the yellow. Oh, I'll show no petal. This one's called the Body Shop Green. <laughs> it's a bit too dark for the Starbucks green, but it's called the Body Shop Green. Oh, petal, I'll keep on picking that one up. Oh, the Body Shop Green. Oh, what's this one called? This one's called Frosting Fancy, and I've I use the testers in the shop, and they all cover in one coat. These do, and this one's called um, Apricot or something or other. Apricot Kiss. Apricot Kiss. Oh, and I've got a lovely, uh, nice necklace, half price in the top shop in top shop rather not the top shop i like that that's pretty 
That's nice. Oh, I'll try it on and see what it see what it looks like with um hang on, let me take my cardio off. I'll try this on. <laughs> it might match I think it would match my jumper. It would match my Christmassy jumper. Hang on. Hey, can we see my necklace? Does it show up? Hey. Hey. Oh. My dolly. It's nice, I like this. Yeah, it's very nice, very light. Very, very malleable, very bendy. So, yeah, they'd get dented and bent easily. In fact, one was slightly bent when I picked it up and I'd straightened it out in, in the shop before I bought it. See my Christmas tree? Where are we? This is very awkward how I'm trying to do this. <laughs> oh dear, I don't think this is going to be very successful. But I'm trying. <laughs> I'm stood behind the computer, so I'm, I'm hoping it's picking it up. Oh, enough, I think. Right, I'm going to try and do it. Right. Um, perhaps it'd be better if I put the light on, because um, yes, this is just coming out completely funny colour, isn't it? Washed out. I was going to do um, a bit of a whole video from some of the things. Um, let's fucking find them. Hang on. <laughs> oh, I can never seem to get it completely right, can I? Hang on. I'm so, it still looks completely washed out. Nail polish swatches, but you're going to hear now is a little rustling. I was going to try and do these nail polish swatches. And I'll tell you something. I got these today from got these today from Superdrug. I've not tried these before, but I think they're the square versions of the. EOS or EOS, whatever they're called. Um, apparently, I did look these up online, and apparently these had a round um, shape to start off with. But then I don't know if they were implying that the, the um, EOS had got their f or EOS or whatever they're called had got their first. Anyway, I'm rambling again. But I haven't tried these yet, but they you know, they've got the conical shape. Um, They'd be the ones I just like wear at night. Okay, okay. That's my sparkly headband. I've shown that before. Hang on, I'm going to put all these swatches. I mean, I mean, I'm going to stand all the nail polishes here ready, and then I should try and do the swatches. Oh, it's quite cold tonight, and I've got no heat heating down here. No heat, so I don't want to be too long doing this. So I'll be as quick as I can. Um, this one is called uh, mint, uh, mint Cream. Mint Cream. I doubt you'll be able to see that. It's very, very tiny print. Where did I see it? Mint, mint Cream. Just there. I doubt it's picking it up. Oh, I don't know why I'm wasting time holding it in front of it. But it momentarily occasionally at times does go um, clear so that you can see a picture. Uh, that in, where is it there? I'm hoping it, it's so uh, you can see. I believe these are all one coat or two coat at the very least. Um, body shop, their own make. I've been wanting to buy some of theirs for a long time, and then I saw the three for two, and I thought, well, now's the chance. This one is called O Petal. Oh, it's not going to be able to pick that up, so I don't know why I'm focusing on it. 
This is a pretty pink colour. There. I'm missing my little friend that always comes in to see me, that little black cat from next door. I haven't seen her for a week. I think they're keeping her in 24 hours now so she can't get out to see me. Yeah, anyway, that's some another story. Um, this one's called Apricot Kiss. Apricot Kiss. Apricot Kiss. No, but I mean, you know, cats, they, they go to see other people, don't they? And then they go home again. That's what they do. They make friends with other people. And um, the people concerned... They have another cat, which isn't theirs, living with them, but it's someone else's, and it's always in their house. And it drives their own one away, their little black one, and she she's frightened of it, and she comes in here to get away from it. But they don't like the fact that the, the little black cat comes in here to see me, which, you know, I've always thought they were nice people, always got on with them, so I, 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 so it's, I don't understand why that... They've taken that attitude and now they're trying to keep the little cat in all the time so she doesn't even get a chance because they used to let her out in the day or very early in the morning, about four in the morning. But now, recently, she's been out all night and now they're keeping her in all the time, 24 hours, it seems. I haven't seen her for a week. So I hope she's OK anyway. Now, what's this one called? Um, so you don't want to hear me going on about that, do they? That's something other than what we're... This one's called A Sunny Affair. And this is a lovely yellow. But, you know, you can't help... You've got to attach to little creatures. You um, have a friendship with them. And then, you know, you ca you care about them as if you would if it was a human friend that you care about. And um, I think their attitude is, it's none of my business and I've got no right to because she's not my cat. Well, that's not the point. It's, um, you care about a little animal that you, you've got a friendship with like you would if it was a, a human so and if people that who probably don't like animals wouldn't understand that but um anyhow this one's called um oh frosting fancy frosting fancy it's very small print and i'm in a very dim light in here but i'm just about make it out ah uh, See, this one is going to be one coat. I can see that. So that's good for a pale colour. And this one's definitely... I, don't, I know what this one's called, so I don't need to look. It's called the Body Shop Green. <laughs> that's the name of it, the Body Shop Green. I don't know if it's the Starbucks Green. No, I don't think it is. It, it's, um, but this is... I'm hoping it hasn't got too much teal in it, because a lot of... Greens do have too much teal because I prefer like um, a yellowy green to a bluey green and I think most greens are sort of like bluish green but that one might be okay because I'm looking for the perfect holly green my festive themed nails were like the, the red and uh, red and um, yeah red and holly green I'm just trying to turn it round to focus on I don't picking any of those things up I doubt it so and without further ado let's just um you know this sort of a that was the, the look I was going for a week before Christmas the festive look those colors which is a vivid lovely cherry red and um deep green but no doubt there's the computer's picking up a lovely pale washed out insipid wishy-washy colour as it usually does and I don't know how to every so often for a fraction of a second you'll get the proper colour and then it's back to the wishy-washy anyhow I'll say I'm not going to say bye <laughs> if the word comes up saying bye then you know that's it but um uh, signing off for now and until um, I put the video together I don't know what else is going to be oh I haven't got any festive stuff on there haven't I? oh look, look before I go I think I might as well just have the snow so it's snowing in my room <laughs> I make it snow in my room